it's Angie from You Can Create Too, and we are getting ready to make some ephemera to go in our Egypt journal. So, I have this piece, and I was going to use it somewhere else, and I ended up changing my mind. So what I'm thinking is, let's turn it this way, I'm going to make this into kind of a little envelope of sorts. It's not going to be a perfect little envelope, but I think it'll go well within our book. So I'm just going to glue those sides a little bit. And now we have this cute little envelope that can go somewhere in our journal. Um, we have our envelope that we made last time by accident. <laughs> Yay me! Uh, I have some little scraps. This is another piece of that drywall tape paper that I have, and I thought that maybe we would make um, a snippet strip out of it. Let's tear this down. I don't think I need it two inches wide. Snippets are great. They use up your tiny scraps. Those scraps inevitably are going to match whatever it is that you're working on because, well, they're scraps from the project that you're working with. So, I'm just going to start tearing some paper up and making a snippet roll. I hope everybody's having a wonderful day. It is um, just starting to get dark here and thank goodness our ice is gone. Let's go with that. Yeah, our, our, our ice storm is finally over. I mean, we're only at the very beginning of winter, so I'm sure that we're going to get more. But until then, you know, embrace the mud and don't worry about anything else, right? Mm, you know, I think I want some color on the edge of that one so that it's distinguishable between the two. There we go. Just going to get a few pieces ready here. Um, that one's boring. Go here. That's nice. So you can take whole images and then break them up into smaller components for things like snippet rolls. You can choose to fussy tear around specific things if you want those. Okay, let's get some more blues going in here. If you tear towards you, you are more likely to get this white edge. And then if you are tearing away from you, you don't get that white edge. It just gives you a different look. So depending on what look you're going for, you'll want to either 
think about tearing towards you or tearing away from you. Okay. Let's get this snippet roll business on the road. Let's just lay down a little bit of glue. This is one thing you really don't even have to think about. You just start laying pieces down. I think I want that scroll. Let's do these flowers. Let's have some more of this. I'm going to tuck this one up underneath. There. Now we have this cute little snippet roll. And what we can do with this, you can uh, put it on the edge of a page for texture. You can cut them and use them as little embellishment pieces. They're just great little things to have, and a lot of times I will take all of my scraps that I have left over from projects and just create random snippet rolls, and I have them ready for whenever I need them. It's a great way to use up your scraps, because you can't tell me you don't end up with scraps with projects like this. You definitely will have scraps to play with. Okay, let's go a little there. All right. So we'll set that aside. Now let's look at some of... Where did it go? I have some pages printed out that were from the kit and they are tags and journaling cards and pockets and things like that. So let's see. These are just little top loading envelopes. These you can tuck into other um, envelopes, uh, not envelopes, you, well, you can tuck them into an envelope. You can tuck them into other pockets, you can pin them on with like a paper clip so that they are removable. You could also, uh, you can just glue them down so that they are a part of the page. I have a circle punch somewhere. I have no idea where it's at though. So we are going to do our very best to cut this thumb hole out. Okay, sorry, I know I wasn't I wasn't really on camera there very well for you. I apologize. Let's get this scored. So we can get him put in the journal somewhere. I still don't have a voice. I'm sure you can all <laughs> hear that. Uh, I am starting to feel a lot better, which is wonderful. It's no fun being sick, man, I tell you. And I think the older I get, the more I don't like to get sick. <laughs> it just, I don't, I don't bounce back quite as quickly. I'm going to take one of these little scraps and, well, 
make a straight edge. What I'm going to do with this is glue it in right here so that when this little pocket is closed up, you see that in the thumb hole instead of just plain white paper. Let's get him inked up a little bit. Ooh, almost knocked things over. Oh no, we don't want that. All right, so what I like to do with these, the way she has made most of her pockets and envelopes is they have this gusset to them so that you can actually fit more things behind the pocket. And um, if you see, the corner overlaps just a tiny bit. So I like to do that. And what that does is secures those together, but you can see there's a little bit of dimension. And it also just makes it easier when you're closing up these pockets um, and things. Uh, if you have that corner tacked down to each other, uh, you're not fighting trying to get them to lay down nicely and play nicely. <laughs> All right. So there's a cute little guy, little pocket. We'll set him over there. Let's, do we want this one too? Might as well make it up. If we don't use it in our project, then we will find somewhere else for it to go. And if you have a hole punch, this looks like probably about a three quarter to a one inch hole punch. It makes punching those thumb holes so much easier, but I don't have mine in here. It's out at my house. So we're just going to cut them by hand. All right. I got to show you guys. I have, uh, I don't know if you can see this, all my scrap papers. I save because I purchased screens to do um, handmade paper with. So. One of these days, when I get enough scraps that I'm not using in a journal, um, then we will sit down and make some handmade paper together. I thought that that sounded like it would be fun. So I don't know if I mentioned it in this video. This is, I think this is video number three of the Ancient Wonders. Um, Egyptian Junk Journal by Natty and Moon. I will have their store linked down below in the description box. So that you guys can go check out the goodies in there and see if maybe there's something you would like to get and then journal along with me. Another thing you can do, go to their Etsy store, take a look at all of the amazing kits that they offer. And if you see one in there that you would really like to see uh, me create with, let me know because it's nice to kind of 
to get a gauge on what you guys might enjoy and what you, you know, really don't want to see. I personally cannot wait to, once I'm done with this one, there's an Ostara kit. Uh, it is an Easter kit that she has put out, and it is so cute, you guys. It's adorable. I keep wandering off the frame. I'm so sorry. But I'm here. Oh, I forgot to ink that. I'm just going to stick this in there. I want to ink up the thumb hole. And then I'm going to ink up the edges. But yeah, if you guys want to see me do a start to finish on maybe just a little um, a folio or something like that, let me know. I don't mind doing that. I would just really like to know what you guys are interested in and uh, maybe we can create some fun things together. Okay, so this, oh, I, I was going to show you, if you get something and it says this, Print backing on opposite side before cutting and folding in half. What that is, you'll run this through your printer and then you're going to flip it over and run it through again. And then when you cut it out, you'll have your other, your backing already on there. Now since I printed this on regular copy paper and not anything uh, sturdy, I think what I plan on doing with this is a little bit different. I'm going to put it, if I can find it, this. So this is a page out of the Book of the Dead that I have, and I thought that it would be kind of cool to have this. And then when you, yeah, let's do that. Okay. So what I'm going to do here, I am just going to go ham and glue, glue, glue. I could cut it out first, but that puts me cutting it out twice. And I don't really feel like doing that. So I'm just going to glue this down. To my page. And then we will cut it out when I find my scissors. Oh my gosh, you guys, I can't wait to actually get my place put together so that I can be crafting out there again. Um, I know I've said it in other videos. I'm not sure if I've said it in this, uh, what is it? series yeah in this series yet I live in a 30 foot travel trailer I absolutely love my little house out there um, it's it's very it gives me my own space I love it uh, but I am here at my mom's house where my daughter and her husband both live um, they are both, uh, Katie is disabled. She had brain cancer when she was seven, and we are now dealing with melanoma at the age of 29, which isn't fun, but you know what? She's already beat the odds once, and we're still working on it, and she's doing great. So we're, we're very happy with that. Um, but being in my travel trailer out in the backyard, I have, you know, I have a half an acre fenced where my chickens can run around and my cat has free reign of wherever she wants to go. Oops, I'm off camera again. Sorry about that. Yell at me. Let me know when I'm gone so that I can come back. 
but yeah, I have half acre out there that I just, I enjoy being here, but I'm, I'm available anytime I'm needed. And that was a, a big thing for me. I had last year moved to Mississippi to be closer to my sister. She and I are like best friends. So I ended up moving there and because of medical um, issues that I deal with, I, I ended up needing to come back instead of stay. So everything that I took with me is still in boxes and my I left my craft desk there at my sister's so I bought a new desk um, I bought uh, I've got all sorts of stuff but I have not taken the time to actually put things together and set up out there for for my crafting yet so whenever I'm doing things I've been coming in to my mom's house and just kind of you know taking over a little card table and the couch and the floor and everywhere there it's a cute little piece that can go in a pocket somewhere <coughs> excuse me <coughs> maybe I'll put that I wonder if I have another one that's printed like that I do I? What about this? Is that big enough? Mm, no. Okay. This one? No. You know, I've got these. They are an A5 size. They go into a planner. But I think what I might do... If I can get into it, I might back that on there. I might even put a few pages and turn it into a little booklet. I think that that would be fun to have in a journal. Yeah, this is A5 refill paper. I think I ordered it off of Timu or somewhere cheap like that. Um, so yeah, let's do this. I like that. Okay. I'm just sitting here talking to myself. I apologize. What I'm going to do is cut off a lot of this extra just so that I'm not dealing with it with all the glue. I think my phone is moving. Let's you up a little bit. Okay, let's get this guy glued down. So yeah, I moved. Everything I own is still in boxes. I have had plenty of time to unpack. I just haven't. Um, I get kind of in a funk every now and then, and you know, it's just hard to... Uh, hard to get out of that and find find your happy again <clears throat> but I think if I actually get all of my things out of boxes and set up it'll bring my happy back <laughs> oh we can hope anyways right I got the cutest little desk. I ordered it from, oh gosh, I think I just ordered it on Amazon, and it's perfect for out at my house. And I have some storage ideas that I need to put into practice for out there. Uh... So that I can find all my inks and their corresponding brushes and daubers. Okay, let's 
fold him. I didn't cut him very straight, so I need to do a little bit of fixing around the edges, I think. Is that right? Okay, let's get him creased really well. And as you can see, no bueno on the cutting, but it's very easy to fix. Let's do this. Instead of rounded edges like the other one, I think this is really crooked. Let's try and fix that. Do I want? I'm going to leave this one with squared corners instead of rounded ones. Just because I can. If we end up not liking that it's very easy to just round it and throw a little ink on it and you never you never even know that it wasn't like that from the beginning so i'm going pretty heavy-handed and very random with my inking that's because i really i'm kind of embracing that uh very grungy look for this journal. Another fun thing you can do uh, that I've seen other people do, I'm of course not the only person that's done this, but uh, if you were to go like this, I'll crinkle it up a little bit, hit it with ink on those high spots, and then when you flatten it back out, it gives you these really cool textures with ink that corresponds to those areas. So let's, let's do that in here too. Why not? And we flatten it out. Look at that. It's so cool. I love it. I like crinkling and tearing and doing all those fun things with paper. I'm thinking about turning this into a little bit of a booklet. Let's mark it right there. So with this, I'm going to take this one. Where that mark is, I'm just going to score. And we can either cut this off, tear this off, or leave it. And it can be a little tuck spot inside our booklet. Let's see how wide it needs to be. I'm going to make it just probably about two millimeters shorter than, um, than this because I don't want it to stick out. Now the reason I scored right there is because that's where I want to cut and it just gives me a good line to go by in my cutting. Keep that, it's a great scrap to use. Now I'm going to cut some of these off the same size. These two I don't necessarily want pocket for, so I'm going to cut that extra strip off. Again, use these. These are awesome, excellent texture to use in 
different places. You can even make cute little woven bits. I mean, how cute would that be to have on a page just for a little bit of uh, texture, you know? Just for fun. Little things you can do to add texture to your pages gives it interest and uh, you know, I'm all about that. Let's make something fun and funky. I think I have one here, one here, and one here. I'll fold these guys in half. Give them a good crease with the bone folder. What we will do with this page that I left the little pockets on is we'll close those up. There's one. There's the other. Right there. And I'll be right back. I'm going to pause you for a second. Okay, I'm back. I was going to try and staple this in just because not everything has to be sewn. It's fun to use staples in projects. However, I cannot find my stapler. So, if you're only doing just a few little pages in a booklet that isn't going to take a lot of wear and tear, it's okay to just glue your signature together. You just do a real thin, fine bead of glue in, in the crease, just like this. And now we'll put some glue on this crease where the spine is. Put our papers in, and voila, oh, it needs to glue. So once that glue dries, you're able to flip your pages, and they are stuck in there. So that's another little project we made. Let's see. Um, I wanted to show you that you can take a basic tag that's already pre-made, like this, she even has it uh, dark around the edges like it's already been inked. You can take a pre-made tag like just like this and alter it and make it your own and really make it uh, something that is is you that's originally inspired by the tag that came in the kit or it is perfectly fine to just take this you've just cut this out it's just you can print on the back if you want but it's perfectly fine to just take this and put it in your journal you don't have to make everything fancy and special and, and different, but if you want to, I'm thinking about, let's take a piece of this. I'm gonna ink around the edges just because I've been inking and I like it to be, uh, it gives you a sense of continuity when if you're using ink on all your pages, then kind of ties them together. Now, she already has this pre-darkened with, I'd say a, a black or a, a dark gray, and I'm gonna warm it up by using Vintage Photo over top of it. See, it warms that dark edge up.
Okay, so we have this guy. And then if we put that on there. Now let's find, <clears throat> there he is. This is another page from the, the kit, a page that I printed on regular copy paper and then decided that I wanted it more vibrant, so I printed it on something else, on the, um, oh gosh, what was it, the matte photo paper. I think I want, Cooper, go lay down, please. Go lay down. <laughs> yes, Cooper just stepped on his squeaky toy. All right, let's cut this scarab out. I think I'm gonna cut those legs off. I'm gonna cut the back legs off. I'm going to leave the front legs. And the antenna. So I know I got to share the introduction of my book with you all, and then it, of course, cut out to the robot voice, which I was not thrilled with, so I stopped that. I'm in the process of getting the book, um, uh, what is it, voiced? I can't think of the word I'm looking for narrated narrated i'm looking at getting it narrated right now and then once once that's done <clears throat> once that's done i will continue on with the story so you guys can enjoy i have some dilutions shimmer spray and uh I'm trying to see. This is Vibrant Turquoise is the color. What I want to do here is I'm just going to use this to kind of give a little bit of, of uh, shimmer to our Scarab Beetle's uh, carapace. Is that what it is? Carapace? I think so. All right, so we're giving him a little bit of metallic goodness because, you know, it's a scarab beetle. It's supposed to be pretty, right? Okay. And then I think what I may do here... Where are we going? I'm going to go ahead and place this down. I choose not to glue all the way out to the edges because I want this dimension. I'm going to probably crunch and smoosh some of these edges to really make them look old. So there's that. Then I'm going to take some thread. I like to use little bits of thread and things like that in my journals. It's just a little extra detail that doesn't really mean anything other than it's just fun. So we'll go like that. Take our little buddy. I'm putting glue on him. Sorry, I'm off camera again. I'm going to put our little scarab beetle right there. And then, let's see. Let's give this a few little splatters.
So that's that. When this is dry, I will back this probably with some coffee dyed paper for um, a place to journal on. Or maybe I'll use something like this on the back of it. Let's see. Yeah, maybe we'll just go ahead and do that. I'm going to take this. It's dry enough. Normally, I would let my things dry a little bit longer before gluing them down. Especially with these Dilution Shimmer Sprays. If you are using it the way I did, it, it leaves a lot of moisture that can wick all the way through. Um, not that that really matters a whole lot. But if you're trying to avoid that, you'll want to let it dry before you glue it down to the next piece so that it doesn't bleed through. Okay, so let's cut this guy out again. And now you can see we took that pre-made tag, glued just a few little scraps onto it, hit it with a little bit of shimmery ink, inked the edges, and now it is transformed. It's got a pretty scarab on it. It's got texture. So it's got interest. And we have a place to write. I'm going to ink the edges up probably pretty heavily on this. Because I used this to ink up other things, it's got these lines, so I'm going to blur those lines by just going over and inking some more. <laughs> I'm shaking the table so bad, I'm so sorry. Okay. We have a tag, and we have a place to write. So, <clears throat> let's take a look at what we've done today. And we'll probably call this a video. So we made this little envelope. We made this envelope last time. We have this little pocket that we'll be able to either stick into something like this or glue onto a page or paper clip onto a page. We made our tag with the scarab beetle. We made our cute little booklet with a few extra pages in it and a couple of pockets to write in. And we textured him by crunching him up and then inking. We have our beautiful woman, Pharaoh, here. Let's call her, maybe she's Nefertiti. And she's backed with a page from the Book of the Dead. Here's another one of those cute little envelopes, little coin envelope kind of thing. And our bit of um, scrap snippet roll. Oh my gosh. My brain just stopped. So what's left of our little snippet roll, we can put this on a page. We could use this as a belly band to tuck things under by gluing it top and bottom onto a page and then something like this can stick in. Um, so yeah, we made, we're starting to amass our things that we will be putting in our journal. Remember? This is our journal we're working on. All right, guys. Again, check the description box below. I'll have links to this kit. Um, there will be links to the Facebook page. Uh, go check it out. Natty and Moon have numerous, numerous beautiful kits to choose from. Um, if you see one that you would like me to make something with next, let me know down um, in the comments. And... Uh, yeah, 
So I'm Angie, and remember if I can do this, then you can too. I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.